mom looked at me like, boy, if you don't shut the f Bitch, I be moving like a van. Can't sleep, bitch, I'm running to them vans. One week, how I make 30 bands. Leaving, boy, your ring getting spent. I don't gotta fuck clean for a check. I don't gotta do shit, but finesse. Counting me, everything know I'm a threat. We rich hoes gon' blow for a check. Fuck two hoes tryna see. Man, we have done DMV problems. We've done problems about this, school, that, and whatever. Now you're about to take it worldwide. Thanksgiving problems. Let's get into it. I'm excited. Let's go. The gossiping. Oh, my God. Bro, especially if you live, like, with a black family and, like, your whole family black. It's bad, and like especially especially since my family's Jamaican, it's like times by like a hundred. So the gossiping is crazy. You hear them talking about family members that are in the room, family members that are out the room. You don't even like they be like, you know, Martha over there, and they just get to wild and they get to talking crazy. Like I remember this one time, my aunt like. One of the cousins like gave her something. It was like a gift. She gave it to her. She threw the joint out and then talked to my mom. Talk about some. Oh, she fake. I don't even. I don't even want the gift. You know. You know what she did last summer? She did this, 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 that. I don't remember what she did last summer. All I know that they were gossiping badly and let you try to be the hero and instigate and be like, Nah, I don't want no gossiping or nothing. It's up for you. I remember I did that one time. My mom was like saying something about someone in the family and i was like hey man i i, I know him chill out you already gotta do that you ain't gotta do all that my mom looked at me like boy if you don't shut the f now I, I was like okay my bad my bad my bad that was the last time i tried to be a hero with that bro because my mom gave me the death stare i was like okay but the gossiping is oc next thing the long prayers bro i love god god is great but if there is a plate of curry goat jerk chicken rice ham yams all that bro if there is a plate of that in front of me why are the prayers so long bro the prayers be for like 10 minutes and the food is just staring me back like it's some sort of like love scene bro like i'm just at the food like bro come on you gotta get on with it then as soon as my grandma's done with the prayer one of my aunts want to pray then my mom want to get into her back and pray like bro we won't even go to church you don't even go to church you don't even go to church bro come on come on bro be real so the prayers be extra long i'd be like yo please please i'd be like I be saying amen a little too fast. Like, I be thinking they end. And I'm like, amen. And then as soon as I say amen, they're like, Lord, I just want to thank you for it. And I'm like, man, come on, bro. Come on. Like, that's the one thing that God stopped. The long prayers, bro. The, there should be a minimum one to three minute prayer. After that, josh. And then we eat. Come on. Ooh, this is me, man, bro. When the family gets drunk this kind of goes into the gossiping thing but when a family gets drunk it's us it can either go two ways one you get embarrassed because they start talking about you as a baby and all that and whatever or two fights family fights happen when the whole the whole family gets drunk bro because like my family is a low-key like offensive family but we we don't take a lot of stuff to heart but once we get drunk Ooh, you say something about somebody in my family. Ooh, ooh, it is. I, was, I remember um, this was like, what, 2016, 2017. The family was drunk again. They they was drunk off, um, I think, like, what are they called? Um, Coolers or something? Something like that. And one of the neighbors, like, says something, because the neighbors were also there, too. We start beefing with the neighbors. We start beefing with the neighbors, bro. Like, nah. Why are we beefing with the neighbors? It's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. It should be peace. 
and love. Why are we beefing <laughs> with other people? <laughs> it's just straight beef no matter what you do. And if not that, once the family gets drunk, they start asking you OC questions. Like I remember um one of my aunts, like this was this was OC. She asked my sister, Are you gay? Are you lesbian? I was like, I was just sitting there, flabbergasted, like, and my sister was just sitting there, like, she, she ain't even know what to say. And then one time, like, I think it was one of my aunts too. She asked me how many bodies I got. I was like, Yo, whoa, whoa! The questions just got od. So that the family getting drunk, uh, uh-uh. uh, nah. The toilet the day after. That's the next thing. Yo, <laughs> yo, I, after Thanksgiving, I am a terrorist when it comes to the toilet. I'm dropping more bombs than Osama on everything. Yo, <laughs> do not use the bathroom before me after Thanksgiving, bro, because I'm rushing in there. I'm in there for like a good two, three hours just dropping bombs. I'm dropping bombs. I'm Marzo with the cannon. You think I'm Marzo that done that day? Nah, I'm Marzo with the cannon. Just boom, 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 boom. Just dropping cannons everywhere. Like, everywhere, bro. Everywhere. So, the toilet after Thanksgiving. I remember one time I broke a toilet. <laughs> this is going to be so embarrassing, though. I'll just tell y'all. I broke a toilet. This was, I think, what, 2015? I, yo... That Thanksgiving, I ate a lot, bro. I almost went into a diabetic coma, but I broke my grandma's toilet. Like I broke it, like I just straight broke it and they had to like get someone to fix it like the next day. Like we didn't have a toilet for a day cause I just straight broke that mom. I was dropping bombs. Like I was dropping B O M B's. I was dropping bombs. Next thing. The serious talks. I hate these drones, bro. And um, I don't mean like the serious talks of like your unk giving you game or something or someone giving you game. Nah. I mean like the serious talks about like like grades. I hate them. They be like, oh, Marcus, what's your grade look like? And I'm like, oh, oh, because I know I can't lie because my mom's right there. And if I lie, she's going to draw and be like, Marcus, why are you lying for? And then she's going to tell him my actual grades. And then if I tell him my actual grades, she's going to be like, Bombo classy. She's going to get mad. My grandma going to get mad. Anybody in my family going to get mad, bro. Because they, they value school a little too much. I hate those talks about grades. It's like, it's like low-key weird. And th- this is kind of a segue into another thing. Those, t- <laughs> I know it. Yo, y'all are going to relate to this so much. They talk a little bit and then it's that long pause and then one of the family members is like, oh, Billy Bob Joe Ray died. And then the whole the whole vibe just goes down. I hate when that happens. Why did you have to let us know that? Like I could have I could have gone so I could have gone without knowing that. I could have gone without knowing that Billy Bob Joe Ray died. I don't even know Billy Bob Joe Ray. Man, we smoking on Billy Bob Joe Ray. Frick him. Like, yo, and it, it'd be like someone in the family who I didn't know. And I'm just like, uh, okay. And the whole family just like, oh, yeah, RIP to him, man. RIP to her. Like, yo, I don't know you. I don't know you. And like, it just brings the vibe down. Like, they're just like, oh, he died. Oh, she died. It's like, come on, bruh. Like, and I know when it's going to happen, too, because they talk and then it's that long pause i'm like oh anytime i feel that coming you're gonna see me get up and be like oh i gotta go use the bathroom and then i'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until they're done and then i'm gonna come back because i hate bro those talks give me like a bubble in my stomach it, it feels weird it's like uh no yeah but the hose oh what it's too hard to get the hose ah <sighs> you knew this was coming where the bitch is at for, for 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 my for my ladies, where the men at? Where you? 
where your boyfriend like my family be like you got boyfriend you got girlfriend like they <laughs> they ask my sister and me that oc they be like marcus you got girlfriend and i, I, I just sit there like because i ain't gonna lie like yo old people they don't know what the dating world is like now like back then their competition was like bro down the way like dating now is like yo you got so much comp bro you got the you got the d1 dude over here the do it clout over there that one tiktok that boy back there like you know it is like they do not know what's up with that so they think dating's just easy they they, they think that joint easy so they're like so they're like come on man if i know your hands i know you got a girlfriend nope nope i ain't dating is a dub it's a dub <laughs> jk no, it's not no dub but I don't, I don't think they get how hard it is to date now like yo back back in the day i don't think i don't think it was that hard to to, to get girls for real like you know how like this there's, there's the term incel now the the term incel wasn't like a big term until like our generation like before then like my mom's generation my dad's generation being an incel wasn't a thing you either had a good looking girl a medium looking girl or a, or ugly looking girl either way you had a girl so yeah that that talking they like oh you got the jump like with me it's fine i know how to deflect it but my sister does not know how to deflect it at all she just sits there like mm. and then the, the thing that i hate the most they keep on pressing her better like come on you, you got boyfriend you got boyfriend you got boyfriend you got boyfriend like come on bro chill chill on her bro chill chill on anybody who's shy about that bro chill they they trying no business because i mean because to be fair you haven't seen these family members in a long time but they, they don't need to know all that bro they do not need to know next thing the randoms like yo i d i don't understand why you think i know y'all like the family members that you don't know and they're like Oh, Marcus, I remember when you was this little and you was, and now you're this big. Like, I don't know you. I don't know you. Who are you? I don't know you. Like, <laughs> it's so weird. Like, y'all are randoms to me. Y'all are randoms. And they're like, I remember when you was this little and you this high. I remember back in the day when you're tripping, you fell and cry. And I'm like, I don't remember that because I don't know you. I don't know you. I mean, I try to socialize with them, you know, be social or whatever. But at the end of the day, I don't know you. I don't know you. I can remember, I can remember a bunch of family members that were there in my early life. But if I, if you saying that, I don't know you. I don't know you. You're a random. You're an NPC. Why are you in this house? Leave. I don't know you. I don't know you. Next thing. All right. This is a bunch of, you know, Thanksgiving problems or whatever. But we gonna end it on a good note. I think Thanksgiving, to be for real, is the that Thanksgiving and Christmas is the best time for family get-togethers and family gatherings. Like, although we talked about problems in this video, I, I want y'all to like really cherish Thanksgiving, bro. Because some of the people you see there, you may never, you may never see them again. We, we, we all die at some point one day, but like. It is a great time to be with family. Like, don't don't be that one kid that 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 just that just eats and then just goes back to their room and it's just on their phone, bro. Like, no, socialize with your family, man. Like, they they miss you. Like, and these are some people that you haven't seen in like years, yo. And I used to be the kid that used to just eat and go back to their room. Now I try to socialize with every family member because it's like, what if I never see them again? I'm like, oh. I wanted to talk to them. I wanted to get to know them. I don't have that chance again. And I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want it to be like that for me or any of y'all. So just take this time to give thanks, be with your family, and I hope y'all have a great Thanksgiving. Been your boy Mars of the Dawn. Time to count away. Peace.